In this example, I'm going to show you how we can solve a first-order differential equation using the method of separation of variables. The differential equation is dy dx equals 2 minus y divided by 1 plus x. And we begin by separating the variables. The 2 minus y on the top over here on the right-hand side um, can be brought underneath on the left-hand side by dividing through by 2 minus y. Um, separating the variables then we'll get dy over 2 minus y is equal to dx over 1 plus x so that all the terms involving y are on the left and all the terms involving x are on the right and then we can integrate both sides separately with respect to their respective variables. Now the integral of 1 over 2 minus y is minus the logarithm of the modulus of 2 minus y. And the minus sign here appears as a consequence of the minus y in the denominator over here. The integral of 1 over 1 plus x is the logarithm of the modulus of 1 plus x. And there's a constant of integration, which I'm going to write as the logarithm of the modulus of another constant a. It's very often the case that when you're dealing with lots of logarithms that you write the constant of integration as the logarithm of a constant, which is still a constant, but that allows us to combine these two terms using the laws of logarithms into simply the log of the modulus of a 1 plus x, like that. Now we're going to try to find y on its own, an explicit expression for y. So to do that I want to get rid of the minus 1 at the beginning here. And this minus 1 outside I can bring inside the logarithm as a power, using one of the laws of logarithms, to write that as the log of the modulus of 2 minus y to the power minus 1 is the log of the modulus of a 1 plus x. Now, this means that 2 minus y, or the modulus of 2 minus y, to the minus 1, is the same as the modulus of a, 1 plus x. And, in other words, 1 over the modulus of 2 minus y is the modulus of a, 1 plus x. So this means that either 1 over 2 minus y is a 1 plus x or 1 over 2 minus y is equal to minus a 1 plus x. Now these two cases are really equivalent because it's just a matter of changing the sign of this constant here, this arbitrary constant. So I'm going to ignore this one because there's no loss of general generality in doing that and just concentrate on this solution. Taking the reciprocal of both sides we can say that 2 minus y is 1 over a 1 plus x so that by rearrangement the general solution is y equals 2 subtract 1 over a 1 plus x and that's a perfectly acceptable general solution. Now I'd just like to point out that we can write this general solution in lots of different ways uh, which are all equally acceptable. So for example if we write the um, two terms on the right over a common denominator a 1 plus x then we'll have 2a plus 2ax and minus 1 all over a 1 plus x, uh, which we could write as 2a minus 1 plus 2ax all over a 1 plus x, and then dividing top and bottom by a term here 
and then if we relabel 2a minus 1 over a as just another constant, we could in fact write this as c plus 2x over 1 plus x. And that's an alternative form of the general solution. Um, I'm just pointing out really that you can write the answers in lots of different acceptable ways provided that your algebra is correct. At the same time it's quite acceptable to leave your solution in the form that we had right at the beginning over here. And that's the problem solved.